Hello everyone, my name is Misty Petrella. Welcome to Magical Mondays, a place where entrepreneurs who are working by themselves most of the time can get together and really get a powerful start to the week. We're gonna do a tiny bit of energy work, a tiny bit of planning, and then we're gonna do a tiny bit of conversation, all in short 30 minutes, get you back out the door so that you're feeling empowered and excited and ready to go do your work in the world. <laughs> okay, so, on this very first Magical Monday, uh, I do want to take, oh, first, by the way, my name is Misty Petrella. You can find out more about me at, uh, in my Facebook group, The Empowered Entrepreneur. You can follow me on my Facebook feed, Misty Petrella, of course. Um, yeah, those are probably the best two places. So come find me. I would love to hang out and meet you. <laughs> okay. So um, for the very first day today, the very first thing we're going to do is just do a tiny bit of energy work, okay? Because most of us get our day started not all the way in our bodies, and that is not the way to be empowered, okay? So we have to take control of our own energy. It's important. So <clears throat> since that is the case, I want you to close your eyes for just a moment, put both feet on the floor. You don't need any music for this. And I want you to feel, put your hands up. And I want you to feel inside of your body, from the inside out, okay? It's easy for us to pay attention to what's going on in the room, but I want you to feel your body from the inside out, starting at the crown and all, working all the way down to your feet. I just want you to check out what is going on inside and if you feel any tension and if you feel any tension i want you to just relax it or breathe into it and try and let it go so start at the very top of your head and work your way down make sure you breathe while you're doing it just take a couple of minutes here When you get all the way down to your feet, turn around and work your way back up. Feel your feet from the inside out. If there's any tension, relax them. Your shins and your knees, feel them from the inside out. Your hips, your waist, your belly, feeling any tension, relax that belly. Feeling any tension in your chest, relax it. In your arms, in your hands. In your back, your neck and your throat. Any tension in your face, relax it too. Take a big deep breath in and out. One more big deep breath in, in and out. Okay. We're going to start every meeting off with just a smidge of energy work from the inside out because that's what our world is guys the outside everything that's going on around us our business our lives our families is all a reflection of what's going on in here first so we're going to take just a smidge of our time every day and just or every monday i should say and just get in there for a minute and relax it okay so welcome, I'm so happy that you are here. Hello, good to see you. Okay, so like I said, we're gonna take a tiny bit of time to do some energy work. We're gonna take a little bit of our time to talk about what needs to happen for you this week. And then we're gonna take a little bit of the remaining time and talk about some things that are floating around out there in the air. The thing I wanna talk about today at the end 
is using all, look, all of us are going through all kinds of transformation right now. Tons of it, right? Like there's personal transformation we have going on. There's work stuff. There's this, that, and the other thing. Hello. I'm going to meet you all your audio. I love you. Um, so all of this transformation that's going on all around us, how do we deal with that in terms of our business? So we're going to talk about that last. Um, but first, what I want you guys to do is, um, or second, I should say, the second thing I want you guys to do is to take a look at what needs to happen for yourself this week. What needs to happen in your business this week? And I don't mean like, I need five clients. Great. We all need five clients, right? That's not going anywhere. What actions need to be taken next by you this week to move your business forward? What scary thing have you been holding off on that you're going to commit to do this week? You don't have to tell us. It's okay. We don't need to know. It's all inside of you. But you know, everyone on this call knows that there are some scary things that they need to done, be doing in their work. What is it? Admit it to yourself. Write it down. Take a minute. We got time. Also, why haven't you taken that step yet? Write that down too. It's okay if it's scary. I got some, oh, look at the sun, hit me right now. I have some, a whole bunch of scary things I need to do in my business right now, guys. <laughs> I have carved out, oh, good Lord, that is bright. I have carved, it just hit at the weirdest time. I have had to carve out time in my week for the scary stuff. I do it between nine and 11. I don't know why that feels like the right time, but that's just when I do. I have to do it at that time because I'm still feeling really energized from like being awake and doing my morning work, right? And I'm like 20 seconds of insane courage, 20 seconds of insane courage. I can still muster that in the morning, okay? So when for you is like your courage time? When is your time where you're like, okay, I know if I just can do this like once, just I got it, I got to make this one call. I can just do it. Sometimes people are more like vivacious in the morning. That's my time. In the afternoon, I'm like, it better be some client calls because not a whole lot's getting done. That's for sure. I can do my client work. It's like the sitting in front of the computer part. I'm like, wait, what? Oh, right. Okay, I'm doing something. I'm working on my opt-in or whatever. Writing, I'm writing my next book, which I actually am doing. Okay, so when for you is the time when you feel just a smidge more courageous, where you're like, All right, I got this. Maybe if we only feel that way for 10 seconds. And why is this, right? We just wrote down the three to five things you need to do, right? Fine, you've admitted it to yourself. I gotta go make some sales calls today. That's happening. It's past noon, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, why is this the week that you're actually gonna do it? Maybe it's a positive reason. Maybe it's a negative reason. Like, I need my money by this. I need this amount of money because I got to pay for six things coming up. That's an okay reason. It's a negative reason, but it's still powerful, right? You need income. That's powerful. Maybe it's a positive reason. Maybe you're just so geeked out about the thing you're working on that you're like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I can actually go do this. I'm so excited about this thing I have to go sell. And you know, every time you gotta go sell something, you're actually being of service. It 
it can be tough to muster up the courage, right? Like, you know, you got to do some stuff that feels uncomfortable. If we didn't have to do uncomfortable stuff, we'd already be like majillionaires. If it didn't feel uncomfortable, right? There wouldn't be any issue. It'd already be solved. What do you do for yourself that makes you more confident? What can you do for yourself that dials up the confidence? For me, so I'm gonna so admit, it's those videos by Mateus Z. Lisa Nichols uses them in her intro. If you go onto YouTube, okay, and you type in any, like he's got one for basically any, he makes like all these videos pieced together from movies and all this other stuff. He's like this one man who happens to be a powerful speaker who I don't know if that is Mateus who's doing the speaking, but it tends to be the same guy. But it's, you know, he's got one for confidence and for, um, here, I'll, it's called Mateus, I think it's Mateus Z. I'll type it into the Mateus Z, I think. If you type that into YouTube, You'll get it. Maybe it might be like a letter off. It might be Mateus M, Z, or so. it's Mateus, I think. But anyway, basically anything that is a woe in your business, like, you know, I don't feel confident, I want to quit, all of the stuff that gets in our way, all those boo boos that get in our way. He's got a video for every one of them. He's got like one about resiliency, one about, I mean, there is a video literally about almost every problem that an entrepreneur or anyone that's going after like a really big passion he's got a video for almost anyone that is my secret like if i need confidence and they're short too you have to check them out totally they're short they're like i think the longest ones are like five minutes so they're not very long and there's like this powerful music behind it and this guy's like you can't quit and there's like a, a boxer like about to fall down and he doesn't i mean it's like <laughs> It's awesome. He like plays on all your, there's like, it's all the visceral like music and sight and, you know, powerful words and all this stuff like comes together. Anyway, you got to watch. That's what I'm feeling less than confident. I just go watch a video. Okay, guys. So commit to yourself that you're going to take on some of these things this week. I know it can feel scary. Believe that. But your mission, and anyone who's watching this now or later, your mission is bigger than your fear. And we need you in this world. And don't forget, it only takes 20 seconds of insane courage. You got this. Okay, so commitment to yourself this week. Like, I dare you to make a commitment that you will like come back to my Facebook group and be like, Misty, I totally did it. I made a commitment on Magical Mondays and I did it. Like, I dare you. That's awesome. Even if it's small, prove it to yourself, mamas. Okay. So next batch is the... The sun is like beautiful and really bright in my eyeballs at the same time. Okay, so guys, the third thing I want to talk about is all of our transformation we're going through right now, right? I mean, all of us are going through some pretty heavy transformation personally and in our businesses. So when you are, <laughs> some of us have coaches even just on the personal side, right? And so if we're going through all of this transformation, for me, I kept running into, how does this affect my business? Oh, I'm a new person now. How does this affect my business? Oh boy, I just had this huge realization. Do I need to change my business? And every time I was having, and I was having big ones here in the last six months, every time I had one, I had to look back and go, <gasps> Am I still doing the same work? Am I still doing the same work? And it put every time, it put a pause on my work, like hard pause, because I was like, 
oh, am I, do I need to, am I, do I have a different ideal client now? No, that's still the same. And I had to go back through reevaluating every stinking step of my business every time I had a transformation. It was getting exhausting. Always coming back to a similar answer. Yes, I'm doing the right kind of work. So how do we get through this transformational process without it like putting a hard like stop on our work? For me, it was bringing it along. So instead of like, for instance, I'll use my latest transformation. I just had a download walking down the street two weeks ago, you guys, that set me, I was smiling and bawling at the same time. It was huge. I mean, I was shaken. I was, I was literally on a walk. And all of a sudden, I had a huge realization. And a huge, I mean, it was big and it lasted for like 30 minutes. And I'm like walking in a public area trying to like, I had sunglasses on, thank God, bawling, crying. It's smiling. I mean, I, it was kind of crazy. And instead of reevaluating what I was doing, instead of like looking back and going, oh God, am I still a business coach? Because I had this very personal transformation. I'm now bringing it along with me. So it's just a new thing I'm creating. Instead of going back and reevaluating my work from scratch, we don't have to do that every time. Just bring it along. I'm just creating a new thing. And we can all do that. It doesn't have to be a start from scratch situation. So for me, like, I highly recommend record what happened to you. Like, all of us as coaches, we're all going through these big downloads. You too, Jen. Everyone is, we're all getting these big downloads, right? So record them. Record what happened to you. Write it down. Make sense of it as much as possible. And instead of reevaluating yourself and whether or not it makes sense, just ask, does this seem like fun to teach people? <laughs> Is this something I need to keep doing? Sometimes it will be. Sometimes it won't. This, in this case, I'm creating a new thing right now. I'm in the process of writing it. I'm actually, it's going to be a book and a program. Will your tribe even benefit from your big download? Sometimes it's just meant just for you. And that's okay. Sometimes it's meant, it's been given to you because it's meant for other people. In this last case for me, that was for sure the case. I was working with an abundance coach for a while and I was like, oh my God, do I have to do abundance work? Is that my work? Is that me? No, that's not me. That's not meant for me. It's a huge download I had about my own abundance. But that's just not my personal work. I do that with people. It's part of the work we do. It's just not my main thing. So in that case, I had this huge download. It wasn't meant for my tribe. And that's okay too. So instead of going back in this huge evaluation process, just sit down for a second with yourself. Is this something I want to teach my people? Do they even need to know? And make sure you record it. So many times, all these beautiful light workers in the world, everyone's having these transformations and it's not getting, people aren't writing it down and then they lose it. Don't do that. Please record it. What you are learning from the universe has long-standing value for you. Okay, guys, I got that one done in like 20 minutes because I was like chug-a-luggin'. Are there any questions, comments, or concerns? There's two people here. I'm happy to answer any. Feel good and served? Served and good? Beautiful. Okay, guys, you just had a little bit of a magical Monday. A little bit for your heart, a little bit for your mind, a little bit for your soul. So you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.